What's up Nakamas? It's ECCC 2019 and we have a lot to talk about so Hajime Masho! For those of you that don't know, Hajime Masho means let's get started. So yes, I am learning a little bit of Japanese here and there. <laughs> so if I throw some words that you might not know, just look up a Google Translate because that's what I do. Now I really enjoyed doing the last video where I revealed the New York Toy Fair um, reveals for Funko and I thought that was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it and I think this channel is all about what you guys like but also I want it to be about what I like as well. So that's why I'm doing this um, Emerald City Comic Con video when where we talk about all the reveals and everything that was announced <laughs> for the con. Funko shop, uh, Funko related at the end of the day, right? I do want to do this one a little bit different because now I want to talk about all the reveals. So in a sense, I'm going to try to go as quickly as I can here. It's going to be my first time me <laughs> of me doing this. So be patient with me. <laughs> but, uh, I hope you guys also enjoy it because I really, really am excited about a lot of these reveals. So join me and talking about some of these pops that <laughs> are announced. So to start us off, I kind of want to go in chronological order here, meaning uh, I want to talk about the first set that Funko revealed to the last one, or let's just say the most current one, because it hasn't been confirmed yet by Funko, I believe, uh, to this day, to this time of me recording this video, that we have been um, notified of everything that is being released at ECCC. But for now, we're going to talk about what is out so far. So let's go ahead and get started with a big one here. And it is Marvel. And <laughs> they're killing it with Marvel again. With Marvel, first of all, we have two. Now I know, it's just two pops. But there are two that are really cool. We have Korth, Korath. <laughs> and I am hope I'm saying that name right, okay? Um, and this guy is from Captain Marvel. But we did see this character also back in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1. And I think he's cameoed in maybe another one of the movies, correct me if I'm wrong, um, all of you MCU fans out there. But this is Korath with his Star Force suit. And this one is gonna be a Hot Topic exclusive. Now, if you're interested in getting this one, let me know down in the comment section. Now, this next one is one that I personally think I am definitely gonna get. And this is Thor, the classic Thor. Now, this is uh, what a lot of people like to call so the comic book version of Thor and this one looks amazing This kind of reminds me also of the DC what DC is doing like they're doing the first appearances like, you know We've gotten Wonder Woman already um, We kind of got that Superman that 90th anniversary one and then we're getting Batman also so this kind of reminds me of that in Marvel form, right? So this one is gonna be a GameStop exclusive and it looks legit. I really like the details on this pop and I am excited to actually try to get my hands on this one. Now moving on here, another one <laughs> that for me personally, I am excited for, Game of Thrones. We are getting a brand new Arya Stark and it is about <laughs> damn time because yes, it's been a while. We've had that other Arya Stark for quite a bit some time already and it's a miracle that she hasn't been vaulted. I think she was one of the first couple waves that were released in the Game of Thrones pops. But now we have a brand new one and she's gonna be an ECCC exclusive and she is also going to be exclusive to Box Lunch. Okay, so this is the Arya Stark also towards the end of season seven. Um, I think she also does wear this suit in the beginning of season eight in the you know little clips that we've seen so far. So this is a really cool looking Arya, very detailed. I like that she's holding the dagger that Littlefinger gave out towards the end of season seven also. Um, but I really, really like um, what design they actually went with this Arya Stark. Now for all you Harry Potter fans out there, get excited because we're getting a good one here. We're getting a three pack of Harry Potter and it is gonna be Fred, George, and Jeannie Weasley. And this is from the Quidditch World Cup and they are repping the Irish colors in a sense, right? Um, or Ireland. Um, I think one of them has a flag in his face, you know, so this is really, really cool. And um, it also represents Emerald City so well because it represents the color green. So Funko, props for you on doing this one. And I think a lot of Harry Potter fans are gonna be happy. Let me know in the comment section down below if you're gonna be picking this one up. And now we're gonna enter the video games categories. And for video games, we have two. Now we have Sombra, and this is the one, the character from Overwatch. Now I'm not a big Overwatch fan. Um, 
and the only reason why is because I didn't play it as much, but I know there's a lot of people that are big Overwatch fans, and this is the glitch version of Sombra, okay? Now, she is going to be an Amazon exclusive, so uh, I got to say, she does look pretty cool, and again, Funko did that thing, you know, it's her, her color is green, her skin is green, so... Um, I think that's what it's called, a glitch skin, I believe. So she looks pretty cool. And then from Gears of War, it's been a while. <laughs> I definitely feel like it's been a while since we've gotten another Gears of War pop. But we have General Ram. Now, the Locust General, right? And this one is going to be a GameStop exclusive. For those of you out there that collect Gears of War or overall collect video game pops, let me know if you're going to be picking any of these two up. And here we go. This is a category that I, of course, am most excited for, and it is anime. And we got two big ones, and two that I am, I think, without a doubt, gonna get <laughs> no matter what. And we have, first of all, let's go ahead and start with Dragon Ball Z, guys. We have Porunga, the 6-inch <laughs> Namekian Shenron, <laughs> I guess this is the version of Shenron from the planet Namek, right? Now, Purunga is going to be a Hot Topic exclusive, so if you do want to get your hands on Purunga, I recommend if you go to the stores, <laughs> be the first one there and make Hot Topic your top priority to go to. Um, if you're going to be doing it online, of course, you know how that works. Stay updated. Um, follow Instagram pages, follow Twitter pages that always, like for example, this Funko, I might go ahead and leave a, uh, a link in the description to his Twitter account or his um his Instagram account, this Funko, he usually is the guy that I am always keeping up with. I have turned on, I have turned on notifications for him and he is very fast. So he'll let you know whenever most of these pops go live. So um, shout out to him and go ahead and check him out. Now this is the one right here that I am most excited for and probably my number one pick in this whole ECCC. And we have from Fairy Toe, Gaggio. And of course we have to have him with the dragon scales or the box actually i was looking in the funko shop and you're gonna see right now in the picture but the box sells gajio with dragon force in parentheses so i don't know if they're gonna name it gajio with the dragon scales or gajio with the dragon force i guess we're just gonna have to wait and see until we have the pop in our hands um now gajio he's actually gonna be a gamestop exclusive so again <laughs> if this is your top pick which is gonna be mine gamestop is gonna be my first stop very quickly, funny story about this guy Gio right here is I do want to mention Leslie actually called it. I remember that we were talking about uh, when is Funko going to do more fairy tale pops or we're gonna, when are they going to come out with more fairy tale pops because we really, really want them. And as you can see right here, you can probably see some of the fairy tale pops we have. We have all of them already. Um, but she actually called it. She said, man, wouldn't it be cool if we have a Dragon Force version of a Gajio? And bam, <laughs> ECCC 2019, we have it. So props to Leslie. She is probably the, <laughs> you never know, the Funko Psychic. DC fans, we're getting some more love here. <laughs> and I'm excited about some of these too. First of all, let's go ahead and start off. With DC, we have Mr. Mixer. Yes, that's right. The name that nobody can pronounce. <laughs> let's go ahead and just call him what everybody else does. Um, <laughs> most fans of him, right? Mr. Miz. We're getting a new Mr. Miz. Actually, the very first, I believe. Mr. Miz Pop. That is so awesome. And I think DC fans, like I mentioned, they are excited and they should be. Now, he is going to be an Entertainment Earth exclusive. So, keep your eyes peeled for the online drop for this pop because he is definitely going to be online for Entertainment Earth. This one, I think a lot of people are very excited for it. We have Black Canary and she is uh, one of those pops, again, that I was mentioning, got the comic book version of herself. So she looks really good. <laughs> uh, kind of reminds me of the DC Bombshell version of her too, but this one looks so good. Now she is going to be a walgreens.com exclusive now that kind of already tells you that you're gonna have better luck trying to get her online <laughs> walgreens sometimes uh, when it comes to con exclusives you know it's it's kind of an up in the air sort of thing you never know if they're gonna have it in this store or not but keep your eyes peeled like i mentioned um for the online drop for this one now for the five star line we're getting a new batman now this is the black and yellow suit batman and it looks really cool. He's got his grapple hook and then he also has a bat signal. And this one is going to be a Hot Topic exclusive. 
Uh, let me know if you're going to be picking this one up. I am probably going to skip on this one, but I want to know if some of you guys might be getting this one. And finally, continuing with DC, we're going to end it with the Rock Candy lineup. We have a new Starfire. Now, this is from the DC Bombshells. And I got to say, it looks great. Some of these Rock Candies, they have really awesome designs. And Funko, I think, does a really good job focusing on some of these Rock Candies, especially when it comes to DC Bombshells. Some of those Harleys, I always see them at Hot Topic. I'm so tempted to get one, but I always think to myself, if I get a Harley Quinn or any other one of those rock candies, it's going to be a downhill from... I'm going to need to collect the whole collection of Harley Quinn if I start Harley. So <laughs> let me know, guys, if you're going to be picking up this Starfire. It looks really good, and I like it. Oh, and I forgot to mention, <laughs> this Starfire is going to be a Funko Shop exclusive. Speaking of the Funko Shop, <laughs> we are going to move towards ad icons. Now, the Funko Shop, I feel, is going to be a very, very busy website <laughs> on the 14th on that Thursday. So, we have the Pillsbury Doughboy. And this is the Pillsbury Doughboy with a shamrock cookie. And that looks so good. And this one actually was, if I'm not incorrect, it was, in a sense, uh, I want to say spoiled, right? But it was revealed. Uh, we saw pictures, right, of this doll boy a few months back, I want to say almost. Um, but now it's official. You know, we're actually getting this doll boy holding the cookie, holding a shamrock. So we're really excited about that one. And this one is going to be a Funko Shop exclusive. But right after this one, we do have, we're going to move into con exclusives now. Now, this is going to be probably one of the hardest ones to get because you can only get it at Washington over there at ECCC. And we have the Lime Sour Patch Kid. Now, this one is gonna be limited to a thousand pieces. Let me know if you are going to the con, let me know if this is one of the top wants <laughs> in your list. Cause I wanna know if some of you guys are gonna be getting it. Disney fans, oh yeah, be excited because the first one I wanna talk about is one that I, it's going to be the top one, I think, for a lot, a lot of Disney fans, especially the Lion King fans. And we have, oh yes, the Hyena 3-pack. We got Shenzi, Banzai, and Ed. And they're going to be an Amazon exclusive. So, Amazon's going to be a busy website, I think, too, because of some other exclusives that you're going to see in a little bit right now. But this one's going to be really good. And I think a lot of people, like I mentioned, are going to be trying to get this one. Now from DuckTales, we have Huey, Dewey, and Louie, and these are going to be action figures, and they're going to be Target exclusives. I am not really interested in these, but if you guys are, let me know down in the comment section if you're going to be picking some of these up. To end the Disney lineup, we have from The Incredibles 2, Void, and... <laughs> I always want to say this. Uh, actually, I want to say this. Funko, I think, does a really good job to make some characters that didn't get enough shine in movies or in their respective movies, right? Um, and they do a really good job making a Funko pop of those specific characters. And Void, I think, is one of them. This pop looks really good. I, and I kind of want to see it in person. I'm actually almost even tempted to try to get this one. Now, this one, this one's going to be a Walmart exclusive. So Walmart is another one of those you know, stores that you kind of don't know if they're going to be releasing their pops in the store or not. Best bet is always going to be <laughs> go ahead and try to get it online for sure. Skateboard fans, yes, <laughs> we have a new board for you guys and Funko released uh, a board of the Big Lebowski. Now, I actually, I don't skateboard. So, you know, <laughs> if there is any of you guys out there that is actually interested in picking this one up, let me know because I have never actually seen i think i was watching another video of somebody talking about this but i've never seen a skateboard um funko skateboard right <laughs> in the store so i'm kind of interested in seeing who's who, who gets these you know now this one's gonna be an fye exclusive um so if you want this one you know where to go all right now we're moving into the television series okay and to start us off Rick and Morty, yes, <laughs> finally we get some more Rick and Morty also. We got Jaguar, shirtless Jaguar, and this one's going to be a Hot Topic exclusive. But not only that, this one's going to be really cool because if you guys are fans of Rick and Morty, then you remember this one, especially in that Pickle Rick episode. And I'm excited. I actually, I think I'm going to go for this one. I do collect some Rick and Morty, not every single pop, but I think that this one's going to be one of my in my list to get for ECCC. Next up, we got some Green Ranger Funkos, and these are gonna be FYE exclusive. 
if you guys are serial fans, let me know if you're going to get this one. <laughs> and then we got another FYE exclusive. Now this one, it looks pretty cool, I got to say. This is Carmen San Diego. Now, this one's actually going to be a diamond slash glitter edition of Carmen San Diego. Now we have a couple of other Carmen San Diego variation of, of, of pops. Um, we have one that she's translucent. And we have normal common version of herself and this one's diamond and glitter now my only question is diamond is a different version than glitter so is this a combination of both i'm interested in knowing that and if you're gonna pick this one up um <laughs> let me know this one looks pretty cool i gotta say and, and i i kind of want to see it in person also at the same time so we've got carmen san diego for this next lineup, man, they've been getting a lot of love. I think I see them in almost every convention so far that I've seen in the last year or so, you know, that I've been knowing about Funko, hearing about their news and everything. But we got Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, and from their series, to start us off, we got some new Pezes, and um, we got Scott, Ramona Flowers, and Knives Chow. So if you are Pez collectors, let me know if you're going to be picking this one up. Uh, besides that, we do have Ramona with the mallet, and these are going to be Funko Shop exclusives. So, like I mentioned, Funko Shop, it's going to be a busy website, and I'm pretty sure that Funko, usually what they do is that they do it sporadically, in a sense, almost, but they try to, st they try to stick to also that specific day. So, on the 14th, <laughs> at midnight, <laughs> it's going to be a... It's going to be a heavy night for a lot of us. <laughs> We're not going to sleep, okay? But stay alert. Stay vigilant, guys, because you're going to want... If you want to pick this one up, you're going to want to pick it up on the Funko Shop, and it's going to be busy, so <laughs> keep your eyes wide open, okay? Now it's time for the movies category, and we have a pretty cool one here. Uh, from Office Space, we have Michael Bolton and Samir, and it's pretty cool because they have a printer and I believe that the printer is actually a separate part or is a separate figure that you can actually, you know, put it in different directions if you want to. But of course, it's actually like a movie moment in a sense. So this is pretty cool. I know a lot of people were excited about this one. And this one's going to be a Target exclusive. From Lord of the Rings, we got Grishnok. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I'm saying that name right. <laughs> but uh, this one... It, it looks okay. <laughs> you know, if you're a Lord of the Rings fan, let me know if you're going to be picking this one up. And this one's going to be a Barnes & Noble exclusive. Uh, so Barnes & Noble, they have a couple of other exclusives that we're going to get into right now. Also from The Life Aquatic with Steve Sizzo or Sizzo. I, it, I've never seen the show or I don't even know if it's a movie, guys. But <laughs> that's how you know, right? We have Steve Sizzo. And um, this one's going to be a Funko Shop exclusive. Let me know um, if this show is, is actually good. You know, I'll be interested. I, I'm always up for a good TV show. Um, so let me know if this is good. Let me know if you're going to be picking this one up. Now, of course, I don't think we can have an ECCC <laughs> from me seeing the previous ECCC releases and stuff like that without something from Wizard of Oz. It just makes sense. Emerald City, <laughs> you know, and from Wizard of Oz this time around, we got a vinyl two pack and it looks good. I got to say it looks really good. We got the Tin Man and we got the Cowardly Lion and these two guys are going to be a Barnes and Noble exclusive. There's going to be a two pack. I got to say it looks really, really good. I'm, I'm becoming a fan of some of these vinyl two packs. And so let me know if you're going to be picking this one up. I, I might stop by Barnes and take a look at it. I don't know. <laughs> I might be tempted to getting it too. Now to end it off, guys, we have, <laughs> of course, from Funko's original lineup, of course, I mean, we have to have this, right? Freddy Funko. Now we have two versions of Freddy Funko this time around. And the first one is going to be him in brown pants. And then the second one's going to be him in yellow pants, okay? Now, the version of him in brown pants is actually going to be limited to a thousand pieces. And the one of him in yellow pants is going to be a Funko shop exclusive. So, of course, Everybody's going to have a shot to get the one in yellow pants. If you want the one in brown pants, you have to be at the convention to get that one. So a thousand pieces also, that one's going to be one of those other top ones to get as well. Now, I really like that Funko went back <laughs> and brought something from this spastic plastic lineup. And we finally have another, We well, not another one. <laughs> this is one that was released a little while ago. We got Finn Duchamp. Now, the only difference between this one and the original Fendu Champ that we have gotten is that this one 
uh, it's blue. So his skin color is blue. It looks really good. I gotta say, I, like, I think I like this one a little bit better maybe than the original. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but this one is gonna be a con exclusive also. So you can only get this one at the con as well. And it's gonna be limited to 3,000 pieces. It, it looks really good. Um, hey, I, I wanna say this. If one of you is out there and you managed to get <laughs> one of these, Hit me up because I'll be down to, <laughs> to work something out with you because I kind of want this one. It looks really, really good. And that's it, y'all. So <laughs> it was quite a few, but um, I, did do, I did do a count and um, it looks like this year's ECCC is actually a shorter list than last year's. So we don't know though. We don't know <laughs> if everything has been revealed yet. So let's keep our eyes and ears open and see if we get anything else throughout these next few, next few days here. I do want to talk about my top four picks for this year's ECCC. And for me, let me go ahead and get this started. Number four is going to be the Pillsbury Doughboy, the Funko Shop exclusive with the Shamrock. Number three is going to be Arya Stark, Game of Thrones. And number two is going to be Purunga, the six inch. That one looks amazing. I just got to get that one in my hands. It looks great. And I think it's going to look awesome next to the Shenrons that I have in my collection as well. And the top pick for me, number one, top of the list. And of course, for Leslie, you guys already know it. It's going to be Gaggio from Fairy Tale. I am so excited to get my hands on these pops. Now, of course, that's my top four, but am I going to get just those four? Probably not. <laughs> I'm probably going to get everything else. But those are my top four. Why? Because those are actually four series that I collect uh, mostly consistently, I want to say, especially when it comes to the anime ones. But let me know down in the comment section, what are your top four for this year's ECCC? But if it's not four, like me, probably more. <laughs> hey, give me the whole list, okay? <laughs> if it's going to be the whole 30 of the pops that were revealed so far, <laughs> write that list down in the order that you want to get them. Now, before I let you guys go, I do want to say make sure you stay tuned for this weekend's video because we are going to be revealing a brand new giveaway. Yes, it's about time and I think it's time to give back to you guys. You guys have been so awesome and thank you so much for those of you that always comment on our videos, are watching throughout the videos. Those of you that stay to the end, you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> and those of you that don't, you know who I'm talking about. Shame on you. I think this is going to be one of the best giveaways we've done so far. I know it sounds a little redundant, <laughs> but it really is, okay? And uh, without further ado, guys, don't forget to <laughs> drop a like. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And ring that little bell so you can get notified every time we upload a new video. And like I mentioned before, down in the comment sections, let me know what are your top picks for this year's ECCC. There's a lot of awesome pops. I think they got a great variety. Um, let me know if you're a fan of them and let me know if maybe you're not so happy about this year's releases also. But without further ado, guys, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next one and <laughs> let's go out there and hunt for some of these pops. Thank you guys. Bye.